Hey, good morning everyone. Happy Saturday. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. Absolutely beautiful here. What a beautiful view. I'm up on the boardwalk at the south end of Area 1. Beautiful clouds out there. 70 degrees this morning. A few little waves, little ripples out there. Not as flat as it was yesterday. Gorgeous. Expecting a high today of 82. High tides, oh, about an hour away. So the tides just slowly still coming in here. We look up to the north. Get out here closer to the water. Got some good news. The red, the red tide warning is, has been lifted here. That's good news. Still gotta be on the lookout though. because it's not here at the beach doesn't mean it's not out there in the Gulf somewhere. I see something out in the water. I don't know what it is. Might be a bird. It's way out. Might be the fin of a dolphin way out there. Way out. Really hard to see. Yeah, maybe it'll get closer. I don't know. Pretty far out there. Hey, good morning. How are you doing? I don't know what. What? Is that what they are? Yeah, I see, I see the one there. Yeah. I didn't know they were allowed to put them that close to the park here. Yeah, I see another one out there. It might be crab traps. Crab they traps. don't have lobster. It'd be crabs. crabs. Yep. Right. That's what it, that's what they might be. Huh? I didn't know they could put them out here. Which dolphin? The two that were up the beach. Uh, uh, not yet. Last week. No. no, they haven't said any, released any of the results yet. Okay. Not yet. But there was one here too. Yeah. yeah. There's been 140 yeah. that washed up on the beaches. This is last week. Last week, so in the, the past 10 days, it's been about 40, 40 41. No, really? How long Yeah, in Collier and Lee, yeah. total. Wow, and there's no red tide around either. Oh yeah, it's out there in the Gulf. Yeah, further. that's where they're coming from. They're dying out in the Gulf and washing in, sadly. Hopefully, it's going to end. Because <laughs> the dolphins have been swimming along the beach here. You're thinking, it's sad. But what I was seeing bobbing around out there, it looks like it might be the float, the marker from a crab trap. Looks like somebody set out some crab traps just offshore of the beach here. I don't know why they would do that. I certainly wouldn't be eating any crabs from out here. Well, as you saw from yesterday's video, Roy's doing great. 
Roy is the same old self there. He's just itching to get out. Itching to get back to the beach. And that's not gonna happen for a while, unfortunately. Seagulls flying by. Nice morning out here, a little breeze. 70 degrees. I don't know what that water temperature is. They have, they're not updating the board up at the front gate here. It says 82 and there's no way the water is 82 degrees. It's gotta be down into the, yeah. it's definitely way cooler than that. It's down into the seventies for sure. We're just gonna walk up the beach. Maybe we'll get lucky, find a couple shells. Hoping for another dolphin encounter today. Oh, yesterday was incredible, wasn't it? Follow, we followed those dolphins down the beach from Area 5. And then just as I was getting ready to sign off, a couple more came by. So good to know that they're still out here. With all the tragedy of them. The dead dolphins washing up on our beaches. Hopefully comes to an end soon so sad seeing those beautiful creatures dead on our beaches boy look at how steep it has gotten here I don't know if it's hard to see how Deep this embankment is here at the north end of area one but it this beach has really changed a lot here i mean where i'm standing is probably two and a half feet three feet lower than the beach up there at least it's up in the north end of area one is really washed away up here. Some beautiful colors there in the sky, huh? Love that. Still getting some of the early morning colors here. Pretty quiet out here. Not a lot of people. If you go to the park's website here, they say the gates open at eight, but they've usually been opening them now for the past year at about 7.30, letting people in a little earlier. You can buy a, a pass to get 24 seven access. To the park. There's a mile of beach here at Del Norwegans. Depending on what day of the week it is. <laughs> It's always changing here, just constantly changing shape and size. It's amazing. You never know what we're gonna see when we come out here every morning. Every morning there's something different. Usually Mother Nature has a little surprise for us in store every, every morning. Some we have not seen now for a couple days are ospreys. I haven't seen any ospreys for three or four, four days. I've heard them, I heard them yesterday when I was running down the beach chasing the dolphins. 
I did hear some ospreys in the trees. So they're here. We just haven't seen them in, in our beach walks. Got to always remember to check these pine trees. You never know what you're going to see up there. A few weeks ago, we saw a beautiful bald eagle sitting in one of them. That was an experience. That was different. We don't see those here every day. Here's one of those piles of shells that have been out here for a while. Still, doesn't look like anybody's really dug through it sifted through there. They don't look like they've been moved around very much. But you can see here what's going to happen. See the waves as the tide's coming in here. The waves are just going to hit these shells and start spreading them out onto the beach. And that's when you start finding interesting little treasures. There's several piles like this ahead of me. You can, you can see how deep it is. It's a pretty nice little pile of shells there. Who knows what's buried in there. Every day there's something new out here. Something gets uncovered or washed up. It's just the closer I look, the more time I spend, the more I find. There's a little tulip shell, a broken tulip. See a lot of little broken shells. Some of my favorites down here broken, like this tulip. Little broken shark eye. Anything good here, anything I want to stick in my pocket. It's a little white, a little white kitten's paw. kitten paw shell. Of course we got our worm shells. Been seeing lots of these worm shells on the beach lately. Lots of them. Sometimes you can find some really nice long ones. The worm shells. Gonna make my way up the beach here. Keep my eyes open, take my time. Nice little fighting conch shell. Little baby fighting conch. Find lots of those out here. Gotta, gotta remember to keep looking out here into the gulf, scanning the gulf. Hoping that we see some of our dolphin friends come by. Maybe we'll get another up close look at one or two this morning. Just never know what time they're going to come by. I wish I knew their schedule. I wish they'd give me a call first thing in the morning, let me know when they're coming by. Or at least send a text message. There's a little lightning whelk. Seen it's seen better days. Almost a whole lightning whelk, just missing a little bit of the tip. I call it its tail down there.
Oh, a couple of days ago, this little line of shells here, that was a pretty nice size pile. But the tides coming in and out have chipped away at it, pulled a lot of the shells back into the water. But they also might have, the tides might have revealed something here for us. Maybe they uncovered something interesting, you just never know. anything though. I did find over the past several days, I did find a good amount of Burex shells, moon shells, and whelk shells. For Delnor Wiggins, it was, I had several great shelling days in a row. Great little morning yesterday shelling. And then we got rewarded at the end of the beach walk at that dolphin sighting. That was just amazing. The dolphin encounter that we had yesterday, that was great. That really lifted my spirits to see those dolphins. I was so depressed, I was so afraid we're gonna be losing them. Let's hope that's not the case. Yeah, there's the top of a, what is that? Is that a tulip or, a, well, probably it looks like maybe a banded tulip, just the inner core of one of them. Maybe the inner core of a little tulip shell. Yesterday during our live beach walk, we got a nice look at some white ibis, a little group of white ibis on the beach. Also near the end of yesterday's video. In between dolphin sightings, we checked out the white ibis. I'm up at the north end of area two right now. start a lot of my beach walks from right here right over here on this boardwalk behind me the sun is tucked in behind the clouds right now right in there is where the sun is I have a little rain on and off today not much almost a mist more of a mist than a rain Come on, dolphins, where you at? Remember I kept saying that yesterday, I'd really love to see some dolphins, and I got my wish. I don't want to be greedy. But I sure would like to see them again this morning. I'd love to see them every day when I come out here. Lots and lots of little broken shells down here. Little pieces of broke, broken coral, sadly. Sad to see coral, that just means the corals are dying, or coral reefs, a piece of finger coral. I 
lots of little pieces of coral along the beach here. I know a lot of people collect the corals. Is that a little moon shell? Looks like a faded out moon. No, that's a nautica. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful colors on that one. It was upside down. I thought it was an old faded moon shell with shark eyes. And no, look at that. Nice little colors on it. All right, I got one shell in my pocket. I'm not going home with empty pockets. Very, very seldom does that happen. Very rarely do I go home with empty pockets. Much to the dismay of my wife. I think shelling is an addiction. <laughs> Once you start doing it, it's hard to stop. Honestly, how many shells do you need? How many shells does one person need? <laughs> I've got piles of them. Speaking of piles, there's another big pile of them at my feet. Gosh. Wish a big wave would come in here and spread these out a little bit. No, there's some really good stuff buried in there. The waves are coming in, just slowly chipping away at these piles of shells on the ground. Got another hour, I think, before high tide. It looks like the high tide's gonna be just right up along the edge of these shells. We'll see where it comes up to when we walk back this morning. groups of pelicans just went flying by darn it I missed them who knows what I'm missing down here Lots of little jewel box shells too. This is a little one. <clears throat> Half of a little jewel box shell. It's got some little purplish pink on it. Pinkish purple inside. Nice colors on the inside of it. A little jewel box shell. Boy, lots of little baby whelks. When you look really close here, seeing lots of little baby lightning whelk shells on the beach. That's not good. I see a big murex. Look at, you see it there? Hopefully that's a nice murex and buried under the murex. Looks like a tulip. Let's see what we got there. Look at that. Stacked on top of each other. Big old murex and a little tulip shell. Nice. Right on top of each other. That was cool. That was a nice little find. More things to bring home and make my wife happy. <laughs> A 
That was great. And that was sitting in this pile of shells that has been out here now for at least four days. But like I say, every day something gets turned up here. People walking on them. The waves. That was great. Wow. Nice little find. I love those tulip shells. This is kind of cool here. Wow, this is an old crown conch. But look how it's cut away. You can see the inside of it. It was a crown conch at once. Still is a crown conch. It's part of a piece of a crown conch. That is so cool. You can see the insides of them. There's a guy that walks the beaches and he looks only for shells like this, where you see the insides and he turns them into artwork. He makes some pretty cool things with them. That's neat, part of the crown conch. Crown conchs are beautiful shells if you ever come across one. Beautiful. Right where I'm at is where the dolphins, one of the places the dolphins tend to come in close to shore here when they're swimming along the beach. There's usually some good fishing right here in front of me. This is the very south end or of area three or very north end of area two, however you want to look at it. Right under the big pine tree here. A lot of times we'd see one of our Osprey friends sitting here, but not recently. Sandpipers coming by, see them down there. Oh, they just took off. They just took off. Boy, it was it seemed like it was going to be a regular occurrence there for a couple weeks. Every morning we would see an osprey up on this dead branch up there. I have not seen an osprey, like I said, in probably four days. It's kind of unusual. I hope they're okay. I hope they didn't get sick from eating any fish that were poisoned by the red tide. If you're new to the group here, if you're just joining for the very first time, be sure to introduce yourself, let everybody know where you're watching from. That's one of the reasons for these beach walks is to bring people together. Of course, the main reason is to keep everybody informed with the water conditions in North Naples, Florida. It's becoming quite a hot topic 
And then the second is to bring people together. There's some little, two little snowy egrets. Looking for something to eat. Beautiful shades of blue there. snowy egrets. It's one of the many types of shorebirds we have here. Heading up the beach here. Keep, keep an eye out here in the Gulf too. See if we get any dolphin action this morning. We got a nice little treat yesterday seeing those dolphins. That was a sigh of relief. No red tide warning in effect here at Del Nor Wiggins today. No red tide warning. That's great news. A little snowy egrets. These little yellow feet. You see his little yellow feet running around there? Whoa, where are you going? Moving on down. <laughs> you got a little fish. That one there just got a fish. He's going to flip it around. Oh, already swallowed it. Darn it. Didn't take him long to swallow it. So that's a good sign. There are little, little tiny bait fish are swimming along the shore. That's a, that's a great sign. Food for the birds. I see some pelicans offshore sitting out in the water good morning they're out Combing the beach for shark's teeth. They come out and look for shark's teeth. There's a piece of an old lightning whelk over here. Pretty tattered, pretty beat up. Old lightning whelk. Another murex here. Piece of a apple murex. That one's pretty beat up too. Piece of an old shark eye or moon shell over here. You can see the eye on it. Not much left of that. Another one of those little little baby lightning whelks. Some neat pieces of worm rock over here. There's a couple more. There's a couple pieces over here. Here's a nice little chunk of worm rock. That's so cool with the shells in there. That is really neat. Look at that. All those worm tubes. That's a nice looking little piece of worm rock.
quite a few fighting conchs out on the beach. Here's a neat one. This one's kind of turning pink. It's got, yeah, it's got some barnacles growing on it. An old worm, an old Florida fighting conch shell. Another whelk shell down here. Darn it, beat up. It was laying like that. I thought I might have found a nice size little whelk. And then when I picked it up, it's all tore up there, all chipped up. Still beautiful colors on it. Here's a little crown conch down here, missing the tip. Beautiful colors on those crown conchs. And over here is a little piece of a pen shell. Look how pretty that is. That iridescent color on it. Isn't that cool? They cut, people cut these and make jewelry out of them. Easy to understand why. You can make some neat earrings with pieces of that. Aren't those colors cool? Lots and lots of broken, little broken shells. I'm just amazed how many crown conchs there are out here they're all broken though but there must be a lot of crown conchs out there somewhere give you a look down the beach here while i scan around for some dolphins don't see any breaching the surface yet it's a little rougher than yesterday but they should be pretty easy to spot. Not sure what direction they'll be coming from. You just never know. If they're going to be coming from the north or south. They just make their way back and forth along the beach every day. All day long, swimming back and forth. There's been times where dolphins almost come up and hit me in the butt here when I've been walking in the water. I've been so busy looking for shells and all of a sudden the dolphin's beside me. <laughs> I got, I had one experience with a dolphin one time that when he came right up to me and bumped me, I was, Quite a while ago. It was probably almost three years ago out here, but that was quite the ordeal. He just wanted to play. Another thing we saw yesterday, besides the dolphins, we did see some terns again. The terns were turning up. The terns were turning up in Area Four. We we're up there looking at the birds, and that's kind of when we spotted the dolphins. And I chased them down and followed them down the beach. I ran down the beach with them. That was a I was just not dressed for running down the beach yesterday. I had my jeans on and shoes and a heavy, heavy jacket. It just beat me to death running down the beach. This morning, it's nice out again. I'm in shorts and I'm in my bathing suit and bare feet. <laughs> it's beautiful out here. It was 70 when I first came out this morning. 
expecting a high of 82. We're just crossing over into Area 4 Beach now. We're up in North Naples, Florida. We're walking north right now. That little snowy eager just in front of me got a, caught a little fish. They're doing good this morning with the little fish. Getting lots to eat. Where's everybody at this morning? Not many people following for a Saturday morning. Is everybody in bed still? Lots of beautiful little fighting conks out here. We've been seeing a lot of these for the past week or so. Quite a few of them. Beautiful little shells. I've seen a lot of little cockle shells too. A week or so ago when the tides were opposite of what they are now when we were at low tide we were out on the sandbar and we were seeing live cockle shells got to see some live cockles a lot of little sand dollars out on the sandbars too the sad thing is that darn red tide is Really taking its toll on everything here, all marine life, including the sand dollars. Crazy. It is very sad. I'm not sure if there's anything we're going to be able to do about that red tide. And I'm sure we can change our habits, change our ways. Start taking better care of the environment, but is that going to make the red tide go away? I don't know. I'm not a marine biologist. I've been seeing some nice little worm shells, too. A lot of nice little worm shells in the past few days. There we go, we're getting a few more people on board with us now. Good morning, everybody. If you're just joining us for the first time, say hello to everybody. Let them know where you're watching from. That is one of the reasons for doing these beach walks is just to bring people together on social media in a non-threatening environment. We don't talk about politics very often here, every once in a while. Is that a piece of an angel wing shell? No, I think it's hard to tell. It's pretty thick to be a piece of an angel wing. There's a little broken baby tulip shell from the top of a tulip shell. Couple nice little shells this morning. Nothing like yesterday and the day before. Well, I went home with a pocket full the past couple days. 
Some really great stuff. But you never know what we're going to find as we walk the beach. What we're going to see. Mother Nature has a little surprise for us every day. Some other little nautica. Found one of these earlier. Nautica shell. Those are pretty, that's a nice one. Nice colors on it. Looks kind of like a moon shell or a shark eye. Boy, these slipper shells, they're all over the place. Yeah, it's not a good example of one. It's kind of busted up. I'm seeing just tons of these slipper shells, all different sizes. I just had a little one there I was gonna pick up. Yeah, they look like little slippers when you flip them over. The little slipper shells. They're all over the place. Them, the worm shells. There's worm shells all over here. What is this? A little nutmeg shell, I believe. A little nutmeg, a little tiny nutmeg. There's times when, you, when the beach is just lined with these little nutmeg shells. That's kind of interesting. I don't know what causes that. Morning. Morning. One of our fishermen walking by here, making his way down the beach. Still not seeing any dolphins. Hopefully we'll see some dolphins this morning. We, it seems that they've been coming out a little later. We've been seeing them a little later in the morning. So hopefully on our walk back, we'll see some dolphins this morning. It should be pretty easy to spot them here. It's relatively calm out there. Right now, if we look close here, I'm going to zoom in. You're going to see all the way up to Fort Myers Beach. Look at that. You can see the condos and hotels up on Fort Myers Beach. The sun's just hitting all of them now, and they're all lit up up there. It takes about a half hour to drive up there. Overcast side this morning. I'm just kind of taking my time here. Not in any big rush. Tonight is the embroidery of Naples Food, Beer, and Wine Festival at Bayfront. We'll be out there doing a little videotaping, a little recording. That's a fun event. There's two different cockle shells here. Two different types of cockles here. The cockles have the deep ridges in them. Those are cockle shells. You find these cockles all different, in all different sizes along the beach. Pretty common, the cockle shells. 
There's one here. There's one here. There's two little cockles right there. What is this? What is that a piece of? Wow. That would have been a really interesting looking shell. I don't know what that's a piece of. Another broken shell I see over here. Wish it wasn't broken. See down here, there's a horse conch. Little baby horse conch. What's left of it? Those are neat, the horse conchs. I found a huge one here out in the water, a live one, huge. Almost like two feet. Thing was giant. That's just a little one there. But they can get very, very big, very large. So can those moon shells. Here's one. Here's two, two moon shells, two broken moon shells. As you can see, they can get pretty large. This, again, I wish it wasn't broken. Darn it. Two broken moon shells. They also call them shark eyes because of that little dot there in the center, the eye. Some people call them cat's eyes. Thought I spotted a little murex down here somewhere. A little kind of a faded, worn out murex. There you go. An old looks like probably was an apple murex. Old Apple Murex. I saw something else down here that was cool. Now, what was it? An old cone shell. That one's lost all its color. There's an old cone shell. Oh, hang on a second. I gotta readjust the gimbal here. It was fighting me. What do I see down here in the water? Two nice little shells, a little tulip, a little apple murex shell. Two nice little finds, beautiful little shells. Those tulips are gorgeous. There's a nice little moon shell down here. Right where I'm at, I've had some really good luck in about, about 30 feet of beach here. All kinds of little shells get caught up in here. Here's a, darn it. It's hard to find these in one piece. They're so darn fragile. That's an angel wing shell. I'm gonna keep that. It's not a perfect specimen, but it's really hard to find these in good shape. Just they're so darn fragile. The angel wing. I think I see another murex buried down there. Yep, another murex. Finding some neat little things out here this morning. I gotta come back here. Get back up in, onto the beach here, right along the edge. There's a little moon shell. Another little murex. See this this little spot in the beach? People bypass all these neat little shells. Little moon shell. Yeah, that was kind of messed up. You don't know until you pick them up. Another little murex over here. This one's got some of its spines left on it. That's pretty cool. It's a nice little murex. Very cool. Boy, I see a, now I think I, that looks like maybe a good moon shell down here. Let's flip it over. Oh, a nautica. 
a nautica shell, similar to the moon shell. I think I call them gaudy nauticas, these, if I'm not mistaken. Beautiful little shell. Kind of looks like a land snail. That's a old pear whelk shell right there. An old pear whelk. Kind of similar to a lightning whelk, a little smoother, more round. We have the opening on the opposite side of a lightning whelk. Boy, some great little finds here. This is like my lucky little spot here. Just got to take my time and we find all kinds of great little things. There's another spot up the beach. Hopefully we'll make it up there this morning. It's similar to this. Right as the tide is changing is when we seem to have our best shelling. Look at this. Shark eye, kind of broken. I'll leave that one here for somebody else. I saw another one down here somewhere. There's another one. I'll keep that one. Nice colors. And of course, the beautiful little scallop shells. We find them in all sizes and colors. The beautiful little scallops. What a great morning we're having already, huh? Really having fun. Got to stretch out here for a minute. Stand up and stretch my back out. Give you a look around here. Scan the gulf for some dolphins. That's always the highlight of our beach walks. Seeing those dolphins out here playing. We had a great dolphin encounter yesterday. Got to check yesterday's walk out. There are so many, so many worm shells here on the beach, right in front of me. I'm gonna, I mean, there's a pot, there's just piles and piles of these worm shells here, piles of them. They are so cool, the worm shells. It's unbelievable how many there are here in front of me. Just unbelievable. Piles. I, think I see another little moon shell over here. Little baby moon shell. Little baby. Look at that one. Thought I spotted a little baby lightning whelk here too. Where did I see that? I thought I saw a little baby lightning whelk. You look up and you look back down, it's so easy to lose sight of things here. And then we got some shells out in the water too here. Just in this little pool here. Wow. Is that a crown? Piece of a crown conch. Some nice pieces of worm shells down here. Two really, wow. That is a great worm shell right there. Look at that. That is an awesome little worm shell. That is great right there. That's a long one. <laughs> oh, my back is getting tired from bending over, from doing the Sanibel stoop. That's what they call it when you're shelling, when you're bending over, they call it the Sanibel stoop. It's because the shelling is so prolific on Sanibel Island. Here's an interesting shell over here. 
I always like showing our viewers these things. The turkey wing shell. <laughs> What's a beach walk without showing you a turkey wing shell? Pretty obvious how it got its name, huh? Didn't have to use much imagination on that one. The turkey wing. Hey, if you're just tuning in for the first time here, be sure to let everybody know where you're watching from. Introduce yourself to the group. That's a big part of these morning beach walks is just to bring people together, make new online friends here and social media. The primary purpose of the beach walks is to keep people updated with the water conditions here in North Naples. And then the secondary purpose is just to give you a platform to meet people. I call it a non-threatening environment to make friends online. All good people here. We try to weed out the bad eggs. I ask for your help in doing that. If you ever see any off-color comments or anything, shoot me a message, send me a message. Pretty hard to monitor all the comments we've been getting lots and lots of comments which is a good thing but every once in a while there's a bad apple that pops up and we got to get rid of them got to pick the rotten apple from the tree Dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens of moon shells down here. Or not moon shells, I'm sorry, worm shells. Just an incredible amount all around. There's a little broken moon shell down here. Already got several nice ones in my pocket this morning. The little moonies, little shark eye. Also, we have, I've seen lots lots and lots and lots of these slipper shells on the beach this morning they're everywhere these little slipper shells see how they look like a little slipper when you flip them over neat little shells i hate it when i pick up these fragile shells i can't put them in my pocket i've got a an old angel wing and a nice worm shell there both i'm afraid to put them in my pocket for fear of them breaking they're very fragile it's really hard to find these angel wings in one piece they're so thin hey while everybody's here i want to remind you that I'm gonna start doing some beach walks at some different locations, different beaches in town, and also some live walks around some area landmarks like the Naples Pier. And we're gonna be doing those live on Nonstop Naples, Nonstop Naples Facebook page. So while I got you here, please like the Nonstop Naples page. I'm also gonna share them on Southwest Florida Television, but if you wanna Join into the comments and everything, which I definitely encourage everyone to do. Make sure you like the Nonstop Naples page. What's up, darling? Just wanted to say bye. Oh, you're leaving? I'm leaving. My flight's leaving tonight. Oh. See you next year. Oh, that's it. How many? How long were you here? Say goodbye to everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs> See you next year. <laughs> Three weeks? <laughs> Three weeks? It was weeks. four weeks. Four weeks? Yeah. It's Okay. You got to see some good things, bad things, but good things too. Yeah. It's sad. How about those dolphins yesterday? Did you see them? It was great. Wasn't it? Yeah. And they kept coming. Most, most, the best thing was seeing you running and jumping <laughs> like a little kid. So excited about oh, seeing well, the jumping dolphins. I, I don't want to see any more dead ones. No. I want to see those. That Not was one at all. I was like a little kid yesterday. I was so happy seeing them. Me too. Following them down the beach, and now look at the sun just came out. They came, came back out. later. 
Did they? Oh, yeah. They come back and forth. Five, Five of them. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I, they're going to come by today. Hope so. About another 15 minutes. There was one already. You already saw one? Yeah. Ugh. You missed it. I missed it while I was out here? <laughs> yeah. Oh. That stinks. Missed the dolphin. That happens when I'm out here shelling. But look at how gorgeous it is now. The sun just popped out. What a difference. Beautiful. The sky is just turning a beautiful blue. So we've been finding some great shells. Gosh darn it, I missed a dolphin going by. He must have been pretty far offshore. But it's so nice to know the dolphins are out there. Thank you, Lord. We have been having, it's been horrible, the dolphins dying here. Absolutely horrible. We've got so many dolphin casualties because of the red tide. No red tide out here today. Absolutely beautiful. I'm going to get up a little further north up here, up by these trees. That's another good shelling spot up there. lots of shells that I'm walking by right now but there's another good little spot where they wash up and of course we're at high tide here so at low tide if you look down here in the water at low tide you can see all these shells down here along the edge they're all going to be exposed right now it's a little hard to see it's a little hard to see what's down there with the waves coming in and out there's all kinds of little shells rolling around there. Oh, is this a moon or a piece of a moon? Oh, broken moon shell. Darn it, piece of a moon. Are you enjoying this beach walk? If you are, please hit the share button. Have your friends join in. Let your friends know what you're watching. Nobody pays me to come out here and do this. Southwest Florida Television's not a TV station. That's just my Facebook page. Every once in a while, somebody will send a little contribution or donation. I really appreciate that. Every little bit helps. This kind of helps pay my phone bill. Other little expenses I have coming out here doing this. If anybody wants to send a little something, you can find my PayPal account. A link to my PayPal account in the description of this post. And thank you for those that have sent something. Just thank you to everyone watching, period. So nice to have everybody tagging along here with me. North Naples, Florida. A very interesting town. A very diverse town. Very, very diverse. People living in poverty and multi-billionaires living here. Just, it's an amazing town. A very seasonal, very, very seasonal town. 
A lot of folks from the Midwest come down here and spend their winters. New Englanders. An interesting mix of people here. It's, it's, I don't know, it's people at some point in their life tend to wind up in Naples. They hear about Naples. Most people know where Naples is. We're like right across from Miami on the opposite side of the state. It's a nice community. That's all I can say about that. I'm glad I can live here. I wish I was one of those billionaires, but I'm not. Just one of those working class people. I just, the whole beach has been, is covered with all these little worm shells. See them there? With all those little worm tips. Just piles of them. All over the place. I don't know why there's so many of them on the beach, the worm shells. Yeah, the sun dipped in behind the cloud. It's going to be peeking in and out all day today. Feels like the breeze is coming, is blowing offshore. That's a good thing. That helps keep the red tide away. A couple little shorebirds here. Some terns and willets, some little sandpipers. Apple murex shell, another apple murex. It's a big fat one missing a little of its little tail there at the bottom. Still nice little shell, nice colors. The apple murex. We've had another, another nice morning of shelling here. Three great shelling mornings in a row. There's lots of other things I could be picking up here, but I just like the more unique little shells. I mean, there's lots and lots of beautiful shells. I mean, look at this pile right here in front of me. It's a huge pile of shells. All kinds of nice stuff in there, especially if you're just starting a collection. Little cockle shells, slipper shells, and clam shells, and scallop shells, and olive shells. And just a myriad. course lots of the fighting conch shells that's an olive shell right there it was missing its little tip it's a little olive right there you know and I'll walk up this beach and pick up shells and I turn around and walk back Lots of things that I missed. It's amazing. Just amazing. It's all about the changing light and the waves kind of stirring things up up here. tulip down there it is a tulip but it's missing its backside nice little tulip shell but it's missing its backside I love those little shells those little tulips What 
else might be down here. I gotta keep remembering to scan the gulf here. When the shelling's good, I get so involved picking up the shells, I forget about our dolphins. I missed one this morning. It's pretty far out. But the good news is the dolphins are still here. They're not all dead. I know we've been seeing some horrible images. Horrible images of dead dolphins on the beach. Dead dolphins, dead birds, manatees, horrible. Dead fish. Yesterday morning, check out yesterday morning's video. That was fun. We got to see several dolphins yesterday. Nice little dolphin encounter yesterday. Be sure to check that out. Remember, if you like these videos, hit the share button. Especially while we're live. Let's get your friends on here with you. And always make sure you introduce yourself to the group here. Let everybody know where you're watching. A lot of friendly people here. A lot of good people following along. One of our little snowy egrets, that white bird over there on the left. Beautiful little birds. They got these neat little yellow feet. These are buried in the sand right now. Got a little yellow above its eyes, or around its eyes, and then it's got these little yellow feet. They look like little rain boots. the yellow around his eyes. You got a beautiful white plume on the top of their head. Come on, move your feet. You stuck in the sand? He's waiting for a fish to swim by, he or she. There, you can see one of its feet. You could for a second. Such neat little birds. Give you a closer look at it there. A the little snowy egret. Looks like it just yawned. <laughs> Great look in an egret. Little spotting something out there in the water. I'm gonna sneeze. I don't want to scare it. Ugh. <coughs> Ooh, last me. Sorry about that, folks. <laughs> I usually sneeze in fours. I don't know why. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't scare the bird away at least. There might be some nice little shells up there. I've had some good luck up at the sand of the beach over the past few days. I've already had some good luck this morning. I found a couple nice, really nice little shells.
It all depends if somebody beat me out here this morning. Some people get a really early start out here at the beach. There's an old crown conch right there. An old crown conch, losing all its color. It's got a little color left to it there, but not much. Man. Lots of broken shells though. Lots of broken moons and nauticas. Tulip shells. Look at this big piece of a big tulip shell. We saw that yesterday sitting there. Piece of a big tulip. Well, I'd love to find a tulip shell that size. Wow. That would definitely be a prize in my collection. That'd be top shelf for sure. turn around and backtrack and see what we missed and everybody do the dolphin dance pray that we see some dolphins on the way back that is the ultimate the ultimate way to end a beach walk is with the dolphin sighting That is a big pile of shells right there, folks. That is a big pile. That's pretty deep. And as the waves chip away at this, it's just gonna uncover all kinds of neat little things that are buried in there. Who knows what's buried down there? There's a piece of a big old lightning whelk sitting over there. We spot it. Piece of a big old lightning whelk. Beautiful colors, just the top of an old lightning whelk. I can't imagine. Well, I can't imagine. I can only imagine what's buried in there. That's well over a foot deep in places. Starting to thin out here, but I never give up. Oh, moon shell. <laughs> there you go, see, never give up. Nice little moon shell, another little shark eye shell. Just never know where you're gonna come across something. Like I say, I've had some pretty good luck up in this end of the beach. Especially with moon shells and your edge calls. The shells are starting to thin out up here now. There were piles of them in the waves. Slowly pulled them back into the water. started all the way down in area one this morning. So we got a bit of a hike back. A bit of a walk back. And I don't jabber as much on the way back. I just kind of let you relax and enjoy the sounds of the waves as we're walking along. Unless, of course, I find something neat to talk about. Another interesting shell or 
some marine life. shell. Kind of cool. Oh darn it. I broke I had a huge worm shell and it broke. Darn it, it fell out of my hand and broke. Gosh darn it. It was a great worm shell. Oh well. There will be plenty more. Just go up here a little bit further up to these trees and then we'll turn around, start making our way back. Hopefully our dolphins will come by this morning. One did come by earlier. It was pretty far out. I'd I really did. I mean, kind of missed it. It was too late by the time I knew about it. But we have been seeing dolphins out here in the water. Well, that's about it. I'm going to... Whoa! Whoa, one last shell? One last shell? No, it's broken. thought I was going to get one last little murex shell, but missing its side. A little apple murex. That's why it's so hard to stop and turn around. It's like, okay, I want to go 10 more feet. 10 more feet. 10 more feet. 20 more feet. Boom, I find something. <laughs> it's hard to stop and turn around. Lost a lot of beach up here last September 2017 from Hurricane Irma. You can see there's no beach right now to walk on up here. You have to take the trail up. It's up behind the trees here. Low tide, you can walk along the shore. You get up to the north end of the park to Wiggins Pass. Beautiful colors though. The blues and the greens. Head back. A little bit of a breeze as we walk back. Not sure where that breeze, maybe the wind's coming from the onshore here. Maybe it's coming from the southwest by the looks of the waves. Hopefully it's not bringing that red tide back on the beach. Right now we're in pretty good shape. Be sure to let everybody know where you're watching from. If you're just joining us. We're up in North Naples, Florida, at Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park. Taking our Saturday morning beach walk.
baby pear whelk shell, a little baby pear whelk. That's a little keeper, a little keeper there. Lots of beautiful scallop shells out here. Every once in a while, you'll find a really nice big one. It's a nice colorful one, nice bright orange, orangey red. How would you like to be out here walking the beach with me? It's beautiful when that sun pops out. The colors get so much more vibrant and rich. Ugh. Look at those beautiful colors out there. Isn't that gorgeous? It's incredible. The piles of shells on the beach. green trees, the blue sky. Look at that sky. Loving it. There's piles of shells down there in front of me. Just amazing. Just incredible. Sorry about that, that was me just taking a quick photo. Sorry for the interruption. Actually, I didn't post any photos yesterday. I posted a little video this morning that I took yesterday of some white ibises. Those are always fun to watch, the white ibises. I haven't seen any ibis out here this morning. I've seen our snowy egrets and some terns and some other shorebirds, our little sandpipers, seagulls. No ibises yet. And still no dolphins, aren't it? Look at that. Boy, that sun is out bright now. Wow. Wow. Really, really bright. Good morning, how are you? Some fellow beach walkers. Hey again, a quick reminder, while you're here, while you're on Facebook, be sure to like Non-Stop Naples. All one word, non-stop Naples. Like their Facebook page, follow their Facebook page. We're gonna be doing some live feeds together on non-stop Naples. I'm gonna be going to some different beaches. 
with Belfair Graves from Nonstop Naples. We're gonna be hitting some different locations, landmarks in town and doing some live feeds. Just kind of impromptu, walk around, give you a look at things to do in town here. Some of our other, and looks at some of our other beaches. So be sure to like Nonstop Naples if you wanna watch those. And sign up to be notified when we go live. Do the same thing here for Southwest Florida Television. So you're not wondering when I'm live. Just click to notify. I think it's get notifications or notify me. I don't know. It pops up somewhere on the screen. A lot of times at the end of a, a live feed, it'll pop up. Make sure you like and follow, not just like. Make sure you like and follow both of our pages, Southwest Florida Television and Nonstop Naples. You can use the Nonstop Naples app to get some rewards around town some local businesses, restaurants. It's a free app. Download that to your phone. Some birds resting here. Pipers running around in the background there. Neat little things. Hi, Rob. Rob, how you doing? I knew I would see you somewhere. How are you doing today? Good. So you're doing your. Uh, Thing, yep, right? doing the, the live feed here on Facebook. Yeah. How are you doing? Fine, just came in last night. Oh. Haven't seen Roy. No, he's uh, not going to be here for a while longer. You know, he, he came out here and he almost lost his leg. Oh, he, he got a bad infection. So he came out here, went in the water with a big open cut on his leg. And he got a flesh eating bacteria. Oh. It eats, eats you from the inside out. Oh. Oh. About it. Well, fortunately, they gave him a lot of antibiotics. At first, they thought they were going to have to cut his leg off. It's oh. not spreading. It must have been a surprise for him. When did yeah. this happen? Oh, gosh. Oh, August. August. We were here in May, I think. May or June. Yeah, yeah. he's been gone since. Oh. He's been in and out of the hospital a couple times oh. with infections, but he's getting better. He's just not allowed to come out here. He's not allowed to come out here. More more virus, more uh, bacteria. Yeah. 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 Until it's completely healed, this doctor doesn't want to. Oh, at that age, it's not going to be easy. Huh? No. But he, it's amazing he's healed. I mean, he, this much of his leg yeah. was gone. You can see the bones and everything. And now it's all filled in, it's come back. It's amazing. At this age. Yeah, well, 93 yeah. years old. Absolutely amazing. 93. You can see now, right? It's going to be 94 in December. Hopefully, well, yeah. December 20th. Hopefully, he'll be allowed to come here so we can have a little think he's party. Gonna make it, he's going to make it out here again. Well, oh, yeah. He'll be back eventually. Okay. He's a stubborn old man. Did you see him sometimes? All, yeah, I just saw him yesterday. Give him my regards. I will. Look look on uh, Facebook, and you'll see I did. A, I was over at his house yesterday, and we were... Okay. 
talking. Uh, what's the Facebook? Southwest Florida Television. Southwest Florida Television, not TV, television. Right? Either one, you can do TV, television. Southwest Florida Television. Yeah. Okay. Well, All right. Look at it. Okay. okay. Enjoy Bye. your walk. Yep. So many great people out here. So many people wondering, wondering where our friend Roy is. Oh darn it, I thought I, I saw that sitting on the ground. I'm like, is it a tulip shell? No, it is, it's a piece of a tulip shell, darn it. But so many people, so many of our, we call them snowbirds, everybody from the north that comes down. So many of our snowbirds are returning now to Southwest Florida and they're wondering where Roy is, our good friend Roy. Most of you know Roy, 93-year-old Roy Hazy, a two-time war veteran. He was in World War II and the Korean War in the Navy. But Roy and I would, it usually was at the end of my beach walks, I'd go over and sit and chat with Roy for 15 minutes, sometimes a half an hour. We just talk about life. We didn't have any script or agenda, just whatever popped into our heads. We had some great conversations. Him being 93 years old, he's seen a lot of interesting things in his life. He was the highlight at the end of my beach walks. I miss having him out here. He's gonna be able, to, he is gonna make it back though. He will be back, God willing, he's doing good. He's just being a little stubborn. He's got to listen to his doctor and his nurse. His nurse is the one that's really running the show. He has a nurse that comes in every couple of days and changes the dressing on his leg, the bandages. He's a lucky man though, Roy. He's lucky to have his leg. He's lucky to be alive. Found him passed out here at the beach. He was in septic shock. Flesh eating bacteria. Horrible. A horrible thing. Come on, sunshine. The sun's just peeking in and out of the clouds here high, I don't know what kind of clouds they are, I'm not a meteorologist, I used to know all the clouds, These high thin white clouds, the sun's just ducking in and out from behind them, but when it comes out, boy the colors out here are beautiful, the water is so green and the sky is so blue, the water Close to shore, the water is green, and as it can go out, it picks up the blues from the sky. That's the natural color of the Gulf, that aqua, that emerald green, they call it, the emerald green waters of the Gulf of Mexico. Well, we found some nice shells this morning, haven't we? I haven't seen any dolphins. One came by earlier, I just wasn't able to capture it. Morning. How you doing? Good morning. Some folks out here shelling. Believe me, I didn't find all the good shells. There's some little sandpipers. It took off. They didn't want to get close to me this morning. Usually they just run right around me.
tide is slowly going out now. This area that I'm in right now is where I found the majority of all the neat little shells that I have in my pocket this morning. Found some great little, some nice little moon shells. A moon shell, also called a shark eye. I think some people call them a cat's eye. Found quite a few of these. What else is in there? Murex shells. Found some nice little murex shells. A nice little murex there, lace murex. All kinds of neat stuff today. That's an apple murex there. A lace murex on the left, an apple murex on the right. What else is in that pocket? What is that? Oh, conch shell. We always... No shortage of these conch shells on the beach. It's a medium-sized little conch shell there, a Florida fighting conch shell. Anything else in there? Nope, another apple murex shell. Mostly murex shells. I'm trying to find a nautica. It looks kind of like a moon shell, a shark eye shell, but color patterns on it. See if I can find one of them. Turn out of the wind here. Here's there you can see. Different colored, different colored moon shells there. What else? Gosh, it seems like we found some other another variety there. Well, that's a little, this is a little nautica shell. It kind of looks like a moon shell, just different colors. Come on, focus. Neat little shells. Look kind of like lamb snails. Uh, earlier this morning right in this area this was, there was a nice little pool of water and it was full of great little shells now the water's drying up but right in here is where we found most of the shells this morning now i'm going to double check to see if i missed anything There's been quite a few people walk through here by now. That doesn't mean they got everything. Sometimes it's hard to spot some of these little treasures, especially when they're buried you get in the water like this. You gotta look really close. I'm not seeing anything. <laughs> Maybe something will jump out here at me. You see, this was all underwater not too long ago. This was all underwater. Now with the tide going out, you get a little better look at it. An old pear whelk, we saw that earlier. That old pear whelk, piece of a pear whelk over here.
come on, I had to miss something neat down here. Seen a lot of the things we picked up earlier, the little broken moon shell. That's pretty worn out, that moon. This is the tulip shell. Is that a murex? Is that a piece of a murex? That's cool. That's neat. There's the inside of an apple murex shell. That's cool to look at. That's. It's nice to have a whole one and then one like this that you can see the inside. Kind of interesting what the shells look like on the inside. Here's that old piece of an old horse conch that we saw earlier this morning. Wish that was in one piece. That would have been a fun little find. A young lady found a nice one of these yesterday on the beach. Looked like they were from up north. They were awful white. Piece of a horse conch shell. Our cockle shells. Again, I showed you these earlier, different types of cockle shells. Very common shells, the cockles. You can tell the cockles by the deep ridges. We have seen lots of these little fighting conks. Lots of these little guys on the beach, the Florida fighting conks. Little, is this a kitten's paw? Hard to tell, that might be a kitten paw. Hard to tell, looks like a kitten paw. A lot of cat lovers collect those kitten paw shells. We have a friend from Kansas. When she first started coming here, visiting Florida and coming to the beach, she was just picking those cat paws up everywhere, the kitten paws. She's probably got coffee cans full of them. <laughs> they come in some pretty neat little colors. Find white and all different little colors. All right, dolphins, where are you guys at? Come out and say good morning. One dolphin went by earlier this morning. I missed him in the video, though. Beautiful uh, colors out here, just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. That water, the blues and the greens is just intense. waving one of our followers waving gotta love that huh Let's snap off a picture here bear with me for a minute Just, I want you to see something here I want you to look at this water remember we were under the red tide warning for about three days it's been lifted no red tide warning today there you go you can see the reflections on the bottom down there looking good looking really good the little waves rolling in
gorgeous, gorgeous colors. It's really beautiful right now. That sun's just dipping in and out from behind the clouds, but it is gorgeous. Gonna get up to supposedly 82 today. Started all the way down in area one this morning. Had a nice little walk, found some great shells. Now we're making our way back, see what we find on the way back. Wow, it is just incredible out here. I've got to go to come up here and record a little video. It's just going to take a couple minutes while I do that. Every day it is so different out here. Colors are just phenomenal right now. Hopefully the sun's going to stay out here for a couple minutes. I'm just going to roll some video. So I will be right back. Don't go anywhere. Be patient. Bear with me here. I'm waiting for the sun to pop back out here and I'm also getting a low battery warning. Sun just went behind some clouds. Hopefully, it's going to pop out here, darn it. Clouds are moving very, very, very slow here. All right, just bear with me. I'm gonna be right back here, right after I record a little B-roll. Ooh, I see we lost quite a few people. Sorry about that, but we can only do one thing at a time here, record video or do the live feed. Well, only saw one dolphin this morning. I didn't get it on the video. One dolphin swam by earlier this morning. They'll be by later today. They're on their own schedule. That's for sure. Too bad though, it's always fun seeing them out here. They definitely are the highlight of the beach walks. Check out yesterday's beach walk. 
some great, great dolphin encounters yesterday. Beautiful morning though, no red tide. We're in good shape here today. Beautiful colors, loving it out here. The water is beautiful. As most of you know, I don't get paid to come out here and do these beach walks. I enjoy doing it. I love bringing you along with me. Every once in a while, somebody will make a little contribution here. They'll put a little money in my PayPal account. That's always a wonderful thing to see. If anybody wants to make a little contribution, you can find my PayPal account right here in the description of this post. And thank those that have done so. Every little bit helps. Gorgeous as we look to the north there. A beautiful Saturday morning in North Naples. Look at those colors. Spectacular colors. Those blues and greens this morning. sign off here in a minute. I gotta save enough battery juice to download the video. I'll save it to my phone so I can upload it to YouTube later. I'll share a link to that later. down and visit us. That could be you walking on the beach right there. One more look around here. And I'm going to sign off. Don't forget to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Be sure to take the time to check out all of my photos and videos. Remember, while you're on Facebook, like and follow Southwest Florida Television and now non Stop Naples. Non-stop Naples, one word. Non-stop Naples. We're going to start doing some live feeds on the non-stop Naples page from other beaches around town and some landmarks, other locations around town. So you definitely want to make sure you like that page. Make sure you sign up to get notified when we go live on both pages. Non-stop Naples and Southwest Florida Television. We'll have a fantastic Saturday. If I don't catch you tomorrow, have a wonderful weekend. Play it safe. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.